If you were driving in Corpus Christi this morning near the intersection of Rodfield Road and Williams Drive, you may have been, well, sort of surprised. And by surprise, we mean zombies, not the real thing, of course. Mike De Silva has a story to explain it all. Rudy, it's not the kind of thing you see on your normal daily commute, but this morning drivers were warned of their possible impending doom. This is what drivers saw, thrown into the mix of messages like expect delays, lane closure ahead, and no left turn was the warning caution, zombies ahead. Someone somehow hacked into the message board, by it reprogrammed it and typed the eye-catching lines on the machine. There are passwords and locks involved, but those did not prove to be obstacles for whoever did this. The message board is for traffic control on the city's Williams Drive construction project. The city says the zombie warning is no laughing matter. The people we spoke with have varying opinions about the hoax. You thought something like that would it scare you? No, because I know zombies aren't going to attack. <laughs> How do you know that? No. Uh, well, <laughs> now that I think about it, it's funny actually. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Or no, I don't think it's funny. I think it's dangerous, especially in light of the accident that we just had uh, yesterday uh, on 37. Um, and with the rainy conditions, something like this can cause some people to get hurt. And I think it's very irresponsible on the part of whoever did it. And I think it's very childish and stupid. This is uh, actually uh, kind of embarrassing. Um, I'm just grateful that uh, the hackers did not. Uh, place anything vulgar or anything that uh, would get anybody hurt. Engineer Charlie Cardenas says one possible silver lining to the prank is that maybe it got the attention of drivers who may not otherwise pay attention to the message board. Moving forward, he says there are some precautions that can be taken, such as changing the password to the machine and putting on some additional padlocks. Whoever did this could be facing charges of vandalism to property and endangering the public. Whoever did it, though, has not yet been caught or even identified. Rudy? We'll see if that happens. Mike, thanks a lot. Still to come.